Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, family. Um, you know what I'm going to say. If you're watching and listening to this program, then you have already been blessed because God has given you another day with the breath of life. So go ahead and give him glory now. Today is going to be a message that I believe effective immediately is going to help you take a load off. Let's get right into it. Go ahead and get out your Bible. I hope you got that paper Bible. We'll keep on saying it. So get that Bible. You can read it anywhere. Pull it out. You ain't got to worry about having no internet connection if your cell phone don't work or your computer don't work. Go ahead and get your Bible out if you don't have your Bible yet. Then go ahead and get out your uh, cell phone device or if you're on a computer watching. The scripture reference is Matthew chapter 11, verse 30. Learn to live freely and lightly. Learn to live freely and lightly. Take a load off your mind. Just take a load off your mind. Jesus said, I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Note the words, I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Now, this is Jesus talking now. He says he won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. It's good to know that we don't have to worry about things, figure things out, figure everything out, or carry the burdens in our lives. It can actually be quite refreshing to realize that we don't need to know everything about everything. We need to get comfortable saying, I don't know the answer to this predicament, and I'm not going to worry about it because God's in control and I trust him. I'm going to relax in him. I'm going to relax in Jesus Christ. And live freely and lightly. When we're overburdened with the cares of life, struggling, laboring, and worrying, we need a mental and an emotional break. Our minds need to rest from thinking about resolving problems, and our emotions need to rest from being upset. Worry robs us of rest and its benefits. So the next time you find yourself worried and anxious, Remember, you can live freely and lightly. All you have to do is rest in the assurance of God's love, provision, and guidance. If someone asks you what you're going to do about your problem, tell them you're not thinking about it right now. If they ask you why, tell them you turned it over to God and you're trusting him to work it out for you. Jesus says he won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. We don't have to worry about things or figure everything out. And let's get comfortable saying, I don't know the answer to this predicament. And I am not going to worry about it because God is in control. And I trust him. I'm going to relax in Jesus and live freely and lightly. Now, come on now. Wow. Take a load off of your mind. Learn to live freely and lightly. And these were words spoken from Jesus himself. Now, if Jesus, who carried the burdens of this world and even laid his life down for us, y'all, if he said, take a load off, I got this, that's coming from the main one. When the main one who you listen to tells you to take a load off, I got this, he got it. That's his reassurance. I want you to listen to this message two or three times, absorb those words like a sponge, and then take some notes and then lay it by your bed. And when you get up, I'm going to live free and light today. Jesus said I can take a load off. He got it. And then I like the reassurance where it says, too, if somebody come up to you and say, well, what you going to do about it? How you going to handle it? Tell them, I don't know. And I'm not worried about it. I'm going to relax and live freely and lightly in it because Jesus got it. And watch it work out. 
So you're in control. Jesus has given you the control because he got control over it, okay? Learn to live freely and likely. Just take a load off your mind. Start right now. I feel better myself already. I'm not going to worry about today. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow, next month, or next year, or whatever. I'm going to learn to live freely and lightly. And it can come as it may because Jesus himself has told me to go ahead and relax. And I trust and believe in his word. Powerful blessings. Powerful blessings on the way as we speak. Go ahead and leave your testimony. I've been getting some testimonies too. I love when you give me feedback. And welcome new family members. Welcome, welcome. And hello, um, continue supporting family members that we know each other quite well now. And we speak on a regular basis in our comment section. You know what? I'm so proud of everyone that no matter what you're going through, that you're saying, I'm going to trust God in this thing. There's so many evil things going on in the world right now and just stuff, 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 you know, even in our own homes, our own lives. But we can live free and light because Jesus has told us in his word and his promises are never void. As long as we got that faith, his promises are never null and void. All right. Welcome, new family members. Hello again. Uh, continued supporting family members and here in this family. The only thing we require is that we love and respect each other, that we love God first, love each other, respect. We try to keep each other going. We can vent our problems and issues here without being judged. No, we're not perfect, but we're just trying to do the best that we can while we're still here on this earth until we get to our heavenly home. All right. Look forward to talking to you soon. Look forward to some uh, not only the Sunday blessings, but some in-between blessings, too, because we don't have any more time, y'all. So I'm trying to get up as much inspiration as I can while I can, and I want you to pass it on. Remember, we're family, so what do we do with our families? We love and we share. All right, I love you. Be blessed. Powerful blessings coming, and I love you. Have a wonderful Sunday.